Hey guys, Wally here with Whiskey and Waffles, and today we have another classic card unboxing. This box today is a first edition 1994 Amazing Spider-Man Fleer Ultra. Uh, this card set, another one of the classics of my youth, and I'm sure many of yours. Uh, we are going to unbox this today in honor of the fact that uh, Spider-Man Far From Home is coming out in just a couple weeks. Uh, and I thought it would be really fun to go down memory lane and take a look at some Spider-Man cards. So, uh, away we go. As you can see, we have an unopened sealed box here uh, with all of the sort of Fleer logos all over it. Uh, it's definitely getting a little loose, so I think it is past due time to give this guy a crack. And if you have seen uh, any of our other card unboxing videos, these classic Marvel cards definitely hold a super special place in my heart. This box is so fantastic. I almost didn't want to open it, but yet here we are. Okay, and look at these packs. Carnage on there, looking great. Eight cards per pack, 36 packs in the box. Um, and let's see, do we have any detail about the scarcity of any chase cards? Um, we've got 12 suspended animation plastic cards, one out of every four packs, and four hologram cards. Okay, so this is fantastic. Those are two of my favorite types of chase cards. The suspended animations are gonna be uh, sort of see-through clear cards. I had a bunch of them in uh, one of the X-Men sets we opened previously. Uh, and then classic hologram cards. It doesn't get any more classic than that for these Marvel cards. Uh, hopefully, uh, we will see a bunch of those with one out of every four in the suspended animation. We are gonna see a lot. Uh, and then the one out of 18 for the holograms, I think it's fair to say we will probably see two um, today. So let us begin. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open the first pack. If you've watched any of our card unboxings before, or the last one very particularly, the format we're gonna use here is I'm gonna take some time and detail to open one or two of these packs, uh, and then we're gonna just run through them uh, pretty quickly, uh, stopping for any cool hits, chase cards, or just anything that I want to uh, talk about. All right, so. Invasion of the Spider Slayers. Ooh, this Daily Bugle card, really, really cool. Uh, oh, it's the back of the card. Man, way to go. Uh, so this is an event card uh, representing, obviously, an event in the Spider-Man mythos. And on the back, which really, this should just be the front, because this is what is really cool. Uh, you get the front page of the Daily Bugle. Robbie Robinson, Robert Sun, uh, and good old Web Slinger Prince. So, okay, so this is a set of cards that uh, talks about each of Spider-Man's powers. Um, you know, doing whatever a spider can is not specifically uh, clean enough for you to just know. <laughs> so, um, Spider-Man and Fire Lord, some sort of battle card here. Uh, hopefully, we'll get some sort of. Uh, Checklist, and then we'll know all about all of this. Oh, and then from Fire Lord to Human Torch, yeah, from uh, Battle to Buddies, um, one of the classic uh, sort of friendships of the Spider Man universe. Spider Man and Venom. Oh, yes, we got these team ups. Oh, and see, these team ups have these back cards. See, these are some of the best card backs I have just ever seen. Like, these are really, really cool. Um, the Lizard. So, you know, nice card backs on the regular cards, uh, but definitely the, uh, the team ups, uh, the events, the team ups. Uh, does the Human Torch one have one too? Yeah, the Human Torch. Really, really cool. All right, pack one. Pack one down. Let's go pack two. What do we got in pack two? That is the million dollar question. Ah, see, I love opening it like that. You see this in the back. So we know we have something fun later on. Black costume Spidey, strange transformation. I feel like that's weird that they would not just go full black suit. Like as if people might be confused that this is just like a svelte venom or something. Um, no, but the black suit, very iconic. Look, it's weird that it's not the full thing. Uh, Electro and his classic, classic look. 
uh, Night Watch, Rhino, uh, Web Shooting to go along with that Web Slinging, and then Mary Jane. Friends, come on, Spider-Man. They're they're more than friends. Man Spider, classic, and then Spider-Man and Captain America. I hope he doesn't steal his shield. Eh? 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 Alright, I'll get back up. Open up cards. Alright, here we go. We have our first suspended animation card these are so cool i mean just look at that you can see right through it i remember as a kid these uh these were so much better than die cuts die cuts were cool too but those were cut cards um and so they would so frequently get messed up uh these plastic ones however um were really easy to maintain and they were really really cool and you can kind of see sort of right through them um, as obviously you would imagine you could. Uh, and so yeah, those are just uh, really, really awesome. Look, man wolf. All right, so we have Spider-Man versus Mysterio, a nice little uh, foreshadowing for Far From Home, which is coming out soon. Mysterio being the main villain, I guess. I don't know. They do play uh, play him up as a, a good character in the trailer. Uh, obviously, uh, that's some sort of ruse, uh, but still very fun and interesting. Oh, okay. And then the second suspended animation, we've got Carnage. Um, Venom and Carnage. We, I mean, we're one Spider-Man away from having really the only cards people cared about in the early '90s. Um, this was deep, deep, deep in the maximum Carnage. Uh, Venom as an anti-hero, uh, you know, pre-clone saga, but very, very much some of the height of the '90s-ness, uh, at least the positive '90s-ness before it got a little too, um, too out there and right crazy. Um, but yeah, these cards are so, so cool. And then the checklist. Yay. This is a perfect little little triptych to stop on. Ooh, scorpion. Yeah. Um, just so we can kind of see. We've got Spidey's allies, his strange transformation, his enemies, his powers, Venom's powers, or, well, powers and um, weaknesses, uh, team-ups, battles, friends, origin and events uh, and then the limited plastic cards um, we'll see s several more of these no doubt multiple spider-men that's cool uh, and then the holograms yeah all right and what is this black card you or this white card you might ask uh, unless I sort of Thumb through those. And like, well, um, seeing as how the hologram cards um, were really special, um, they were actually made without uh, backs. Um, but you can see, oh man, this is so cool. 
uh, you can just even the effect is actually you can kind of catch it in the camera there. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, this is one of the hologram cards. One of four. This is the Carnage. Um, these were the mainstays of the chase cards in the early Marvel and even DC, I believe, had a couple of these um, sets. Uh, they uh, were always just like awesome to see um, because not only were they uh, just very rare. I mean, one out of 18 packs is actually pretty um, common compared to, I think, some of the rarities in some of the other ones. Um, but they also had this really fantastic 3D look. Like, you can really get a... You know, I mean, they're holograms in, in, in very much the true sense of the word. Um, I loved that these kind of cards eventually became, uh, you know, tools to sell alternate comic book covers. Um, one of my absolute favorite... A comic series um, X-Men growing up had a run I believe it was the Fatal Attractions miniseries where every issue just had like a hologram card like glued to the front um, and it just it was completely useless it meant nothing uh, but it looked cool it looked cool and yeah so catching these in the packs are always always a treat always a treat look at that super cool And are you kidding me with back-to-back -back hits here? Oh, my God. Um, wow, all right. Well, we didn't get any for a while, and now we've got our second hologram card, and this is Spider-Man. Oh, this is so cool. All right, well, we've already hit two, uh, which is sort of at the one out of 18 you expect kind of to a box. I don't know if these were... Um, hyper regulated in terms of like every box gets two or if that was just a general rarity and you know some boxes get lucky and get more and obviously then some would get less um but we just hit two in back to back boxes so i'm thinking you know can we get a third i think we've got more than enough packs let's find out Origin card, Spider Bite, very, very cool. Uh, but I did stop here because we got another suspended animation. Our third, Mr. Hobgoblin. Uh, not quite the uh, level of villain, uh, although he definitely had his heyday. Uh, what was great about Hobgoblin in the Spider-Man the Animated Series, he was actually voiced by Mark Hamill doing a sort of uh, pseudo jokery kind of thing and he was doing both Joker and Hobgoblin roughly the same time uh, I always thought that was a nice little nice little thing you know having the Joker be in both DC and Marvel all-time classic cartoon shows And <laughs> this is the second time in this box we have got back-to-back -back packs with hits. Um, first it was two holograms back-to-back, -back, and now we have two suspended animations back-to-back. -back. Uh, and we have one of the multiple Spider-Men of this set. Oh man, this is really, really cool. Uh, just love these cards so much. Uh, and we have four of the 12 now, uh, and we're uh, about halfway through. Um, so we're probably not gonna get all 12, uh, just like we're not gonna get all four holograms, but we're getting, we're getting a good set and a good bunch. I don't know if you can see this, but some of these packs are definitely getting uh, <laughs> up there in age and they are coming in all sticky and all bent. Um, good thing there's not any crazy hits in here. Uh, otherwise, that would be really sad.
right, another suspended animation card in here. Let's, ooh, Nova. Spider-Man and Nova. Silver Sable. But move over Silver Sable because we got the Black Cat. Look at her. Aw, yeah. Spider-Man has always sort of been a weird parallel to Batman in terms of, you know, you've got lots of different sort of suits. They're iconic uh, characters within their universe that you know, may not necessarily be the most powerful, uh, but they're often the most human. Batman literally, Spider-Man because he's a child. Um, and they both have arch villains who are crazy uh, laughing guys. And, uh, and they have cat-based um, uh, sort of anti-hero slash pseudo-villain slash love interesty type uh, people. Uh, and the Black Cat, uh, unlike Catwoman, was never fully evil, if I'm recalling correctly. Never fully bad guy. I think he was more, definitely more anti-hero along the way. Um, but uh, Felicia Hardy, uh, Black Cat, definitely uh, just one of the fantastic characters. And, uh, and really, really, here's hoping to see her in a movie sometime soon. And another suspended animation. This time, the lizard. There's nothing great in here. Ooh, black suit Spidey. The black costume saga. Got that guy from the Secret Wars and turned it into, well, just an entire new avenue of characters and, and really movies and, and just all sorts of fun stuff. The 90s and beyond. Uh, but yeah, this guy, Spinning the Lizard. Look at that. More quality. Look at that, another suspended animation. This is a different Spider-Man. There are actually, I think, three or four uh, Spider-Man suspended animation cards and two of the uh, holograms. So there's not, it's not a duplicate. Uh, we had, this is now seven of the 12 suspended animations. Um, uh, really, really cool. Uh, I think we'll probably do one more if the odds are to be uh, exact. Um, yeah, let's keep it going. Right, and here's probably our last suspended animation, uh, the vulture. Uh, cool that we didn't get any duplicates in that. Um, this is that definitely very 90s vulture where he uh, wasn't the old man, uh, and he had a good full head of hair. Good for a vulture. Uh, and what's really fun about these old cards, you can really tell when you have a suspended animation in the pack, because as soon as you open it, um, it slides right around, and... Uh, and one thing you can't really tell, and maybe you can tell, is the, these guys are real sticky. So if there's some, there's some slick sliding, you got to suspend an enemy.
All right, so the last card pack. Uh, let's see. Do we get any last chase cards in this set, or uh, are we tapped out of those? Funeral arrangements. Oh, there's good old, old Walter. Good to see him back. Green Goblin. Spider-Man and Tombstone. A fun little cameo side character out of Into the Spider-Verse. You know, when do you really see Tombstone on TV? Or, well, in the movies. I guess it's TV now, because that's where you watch it. Black Cat, yay. Uh, and then, yay, we do get one more. Dr. Octopus. There you go. There you go. So we got nine suspended animations. Nine of the twelve. Um, which means there's only three left uh, to get. That's pretty good for a chase set. Uh, and then we got half of the holograms. Uh, two, which is pretty much on point and what you would expect out of a box of 36 unopened packs. Cloak and Dagger. Yay. I need to watch your show. So there you have it, guys. Uh, an unopened sealed box of the Amazing Spider-Man Fleer cards. Um, we did pretty well. I think, uh, I don't want to check the checklist like I did in the X-Men video, um, but, you know, based on the eyeball test, I'd say we've got the vast majority of a full set in here. Um, if not a complete set, very, very near it uh, in terms of chase cards. As mentioned previously, we've gotten nine of these suspended animation guys. Uh, Dr. Octopus, Vulture, Spider-Man of one type, The Lizard, Black Cat, Spider-Man of a second type, Carnage, Hobby Goblin, and Venom. And of course, two holograms. Uh, stop looking at the DVDs I have. Jeez, guys. Carnage and Spiderman. Jeff Spiderman. All right, there you guys go. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Uh, I sure did. Uh, all of these classic unboxings are super great. Definitely let us know if you would like to see more of these in the future uh, and tell us which ones uh, you'd like to see. Uh, are there any classic card unboxings? They don't all have to be Marvel, even though they have been thus far. Are, are there some DC ones you guys want to see? Um, other uh, classic uh, movies and TV shows and stuff that had trading cards? Uh, I know the 90s was just flush with them, and I would not mind uh spending some of my hard-earned cash and buying some of these unopened boxes and opening them for you people all seven people that watch this i love you <laughs>